How you going, man? Good, man. Good. It's a little thunderstorm in LA right now, so I apologize for the thunder, but thunder's cool. <laughs> really? Well, you're headed to the right place. It's summer over here, and where I don't know what the conversion is, but 30 degrees Celsius here, so the sun's shining, and it's a beautiful day. So hopefully nice. we'll see what this weather in a month, three weeks, you're here in Australia. Yeah, I hear it takes three weeks to get there, so I'm excited, <laughs> about, that. excited yeah. about this long flight. Well, this trip's been postponed and then postponed and then postponed oh, again. Are you yeah, hanging? My, to get, we're so appreciative that you're still coming. Yeah, I mean it's been it's been a long road. Uh, I've never been to Australia, so it's been it's been a big uh, thing for me to actually finally get there. And the fact that my clothes have been there more than I have, and it, it's kind of upsetting to me. So because we've had to send all our stuff and send it all back and a couple times over now. So uh, I'm just you know, and just being able to get back and be a part of shows, whether it's watching it or or. or singing at it it's uh just you know something that that was felt like it was missing for a while and i'm glad i'm glad it's getting back yeah and so in america have you had live music back for a little while now yeah it's kind of been happening um you know um i've gone to a couple shows and and we've done like a you know a couple weeks run here I'm um, just trying to get our feet underneath us and make sure we remember how to do it. And <laughs> having a couple of years off, having a couple of years off will make you wonder, you know. <laughs> well, we're only just starting to get our live music gigs back now, so the audience know, is here it's perfect timing. Yeah, we cannot wait to see you. Does this mean you have to do more rehearsal now? Uh, we're about to start doing those. Actually, I, I heard I heard word about that earlier. Um, I just got back. Uh, into LA and uh, I think Eric was out of town he's just getting back into LA so uh, we're just going to start getting together here and hashing out some set lists and like likely have more than one thing that we do while we're there so uh, yeah it'll be interesting excited have they, for it have they told you what to expect of Australia no I'm just I'm just going in wide-eyed and bushy-tailed and just, are, you, are you excited or scared <laughs> absolutely i'm like trying to figure out where my days off are and and uh i don't know my my uh get a bike and just kind of ride around and uh check out check out uh you know architecture and and uh homegrown beers and who knows yeah because you're here <laughs> for a couple of weeks so hopefully you'll have some time in between gigs to check those sort of things out hey yeah, absolutely. I want to take it all in. I want to, I want the full uh, I want the full Australian experience. Yeah. And our government deemed your travel as a national interest of Australia. That's got to make you feel pretty special. <laughs> it depends on if it's a if it's a good interest or a bad interest. They're, they're looking out they're looking out for us and we're making sure we don't make any mistakes. But uh, no, we're all, we're all, you know, it's a it's a it's a serious thing to get over there and 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 really uh, you know, try to try to give some hope back to people that you know there's there's this you know life life can go on and we can still do the things that we love and, and we can still participate and and do all those things and you know everyone has you know their own um there's more tools and that are available to people now than there was when the pandemic started so it wouldn't have felt right to do it before anyway so uh being able that you know people can have a fighting chance now and, and everyone everyone can be safe and and you know um there's, you know, enough information out there to, you know, really help people, you know, get through it and, and make sure that everyone around them is taken care of too. Yeah, and I feel like having these as outdoor festival gigs brings a whole new life of the fresh air and being outside. And um, do, do you have a preference when it comes to these outdoor gigs? Do you love them? Are they harder to do than the indoor gigs? I do love the outdoor gigs just because, I, you know, when, you, when there's... Um, when there's a roof and there's walls and, and all that thing, you know, it's, uh, it can feel a little constricting. And then I've got, you know, I've uh, played a lot of outdoor gigs and it just, it just feels like, you know, you're kind of one with the sky and, and you're, you're, you're doing more of a seance than a, than a, than a, than a concert, you know? <laughs> yeah, hundred percent. I love it. And this, this isn't the first time you played alongside Bush, is it? No, we've done we've done some tours with Bush, and they're good dudes. And there's something to be said about the camaraderie between bands. You know, when you when you get along, and 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 it, it becomes more of like a family vibe. And and um, you know, I mean, my sons played. You know, um, came out on tour and, and hung out, and 
I remember uh, Gavin taking our picture. <laughs> oh, yeah. I remember, I remember he, cause he had this picture, uh, you know, that was on his wall. And I'm like, Hey, you, you know, I took that picture. Right. And I'm like, I was like, Gavin Rossdale took it. And he was like, who's that? <laughs> <I'm> like, <"Dude."> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> of course. Are you didn't know. Yeah. But are he you knew him. Like, sorry, he, just didn't know, he just didn't know who he was or anything he did. You know? and, uh, so he just, <laughs> he, he just knew him as a guy, you know, like, which is great. Yeah. You know? I think that's, there's something to be said about that where, you know, it shows goes to show that you have to you have to always reinvent yourself even for new relationships in your life. So it was it was it was it was a good moment. That's it, pretty it cool. Was funny, funny, funny that we were out there with Bush and and he had no idea what was going on. <laughs> um, so for your sets over here in Australia for Under the Southern Skies, do you know will you be playing sets together or keeping it totally separate? I mean, as far as I know, like, uh, yeah, we just, we do our separate sets and, and we kind of flip flop and, and, and uh, from place to place. And, and uh, it's kind of how we did it before when we were with the, we were with the cult and now we'll be with Cheap Trick, which is, I mean, I can't wait for that. I mean, I'm, <laughs> I mean, yeah. when I found out that, when I found out they were going to be a part of it, I was just like, oh man, I started calling, calling people I grew up with and going, hey, dude, guess who I'm playing with, you know, so uh, just, uh, that'll be, that'll be a good moment for me too, just to be able to see those guys every night. Um, have you yeah, spoken to them? I have not spoken to them, and I'm going to be like, you know, fanboying it up when when I see <laughs> them. So, no, that, I, I, you know, I've heard they're really cool, cool guys, and I'm, I'm looking forward to, you know, um, having relationships with those guys and and just being able to see them every night and, and the songs that I grew up on. Yeah, and, uh, yeah, it'll be, you know, I'll be a fan too, and I'll be that right there with everyone. It must be <laughs> surreal to be up on stage with some of these guys. Yeah, yeah, man. Um, yeah, Ian was great too. He was, re he was he really took his time with me, and I had some conversations with him um, when we were doing those tours before. And and um, yeah, yeah. So I mean, it, there's there's special moments that I will probably never speak of that were you know like meant a lot. Just you know, people really taking time to give you advice and and ask you questions and ask you how you're doing and and yeah. you know things like that where you know. I always remember those times for sure. That's cool. Uh, you, you said you were work, you were just about to start working on your set list. Uh, have you got any plans yet? What can fans expect? <laughs> uh, nope. I mean, I haven't. I haven't. We haven't gotten together yet for the rehearsals. We're about we're about to start um, okay. next week here, and because I just got back to LA and and um, Eric's just got back too. So uh, so we're gonna get we're gonna start getting together and. And we'll, we'll probably come up with more than one set list, and because we we tend to do that on tours, and we're, you know, so we don't not doing the same thing every night. So um, so there'll probably be some variation from town set town to town, and we'll you know we'll uh, we'll figure that out. And uh, or if you hear about anything before I do, let me know. All right? <laughs> it's doubtful. And, and we do you know if you're thinking of an acoustic acoustic set? I know you were doing an acoustic set before all, all this COVID happened, and were you thinking of doing a little bit of that and a little bit of more rock or a bit of both? Um, I'm thinking right now it's it's all going to be you know since we only have we only have an hour a night, so I'm I'm pretty sure we're just going to try to fit as many as many balls to the wall, um, you know, uh, songs in there as we can. Uh, uh, I think that I think the acoustic thing is is, is kind of a different setting because it, it would be it would entail other actually musicians and and I'm sure there's going to have other instruments involved and and all kinds of cool things like that which will make it its own thing and 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 make it special in its own way which uh, I really hope we get to a chance to do um, at some point because you know it, <laughs> that's another thing that's another thing COVID took away was that that little vibe that was about to go out and happen on the road so hopefully we get a chance to go back and do that that way you know. And, um, but um, yeah, I don't know. I, I I'm really not. I'm not sure what to expect yet. But um, with, with by, I mean, you know, song by song basis. But um, yeah. but you know, those those ideas will start coming together here over the next couple of weeks. And and uh, I mean, we pretty much already have an idea of what we're going to do. But um, just because we've been, you know, we've been touring, you know, um, besides co the COVID downtime, we were we were we were we were doing pretty good before that. We were <laughs> we were at a pretty good pace, man. We were uh, we were kicking some ass. So. Uh, Looking forward to just getting back to that. Yeah, man. And after um, Under the Southern Stars, after your visit to Australia, you've got another beach festival coming up, Beach Life, as soon as you get back to America. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We actually, we're doing, we're doing one in Memphis too, I believe, before that. 
before the beach one, um, both of Smashing Pumpkins. So that'll be fun. That'll be a, that'll be a good thing. And then, yeah, there, 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 you know, the offers are coming in and, and, and we're, you know, getting our, uh, getting our schedule together. And, and that's, that's an exciting time when you don't really know how full it's going to get and starts filling up. And, and uh, yeah, it, it feels good to be, to be able to, to get back to that because, you know, <laughs> for a point there, I was like, am I ever going to work again? Yeah, <laughs> am I ever going to be able to go up and do that? 2022 could be the year of the festivals for Stone Temple Pilots. Yeah, let's do it, man. <laughs> which which, which is, would be fine, right? Yeah. What else you got sure. planned for the year? Um, that's recording? it, man. Just get just getting all that stuff in order, um, you know, and uh, and just getting back to it. Uh, yeah, it, you know, I've been spending a lot more time in, in Michigan and uh, and doing that. So getting back to LA and getting back into the swing of things and and um uh yeah just you know it's it's just exciting exciting to get back in the room with these guys and and hash like you said hash out hash out the the, the set list and and that's like that's the fun work to do you know that's when that's when work isn't hard and, and you get to go in and, and hang out with some dudes that really know what they're doing and and um and just you know <laughs> there's nothing that that matches that when the when the intro starts and the lights go down and, and the crowd goes it starts getting loud and and you know that's it's, there's there's no real feeling in the in the world that kind of matches that. So I'm just excited for that. I can imagine as and as part of the audience in the crowd, I can tell you we're super pumped to be having you <laughs> here and to be going to a live gig again. It's, it's been yeah yeah very, very for sure, happy. man. Yeah, like we did we did one that was outdoor, you know, in my hometown back in Michigan it was like one of the first things we did that we came back and did um maybe it was the second show I think we did we did like a motorcycle thing and then and then uh Sturgis there in South Carolina and then and then there was like my hometown like Royal Oak Michigan and, and it was outdoor and it was like just had that whole vibe and you know it was like wow it's back like you can actually do this and so that was a good feeling so to be able to bring that to Australia right when Australia is coming coming back like that at the same time and and you know, have a couple shows under our belt at least before we do it. You know, so yeah. that's that's a good thing to have too. Like, yeah, okay, we we can do it. We can still do it. You know, like, yeah, man, that's that's a good feeling. Well, if I can give you the hot tip, I know right in the middle of your tour, you're doing three dates for the Adelaide Fringe Festival, and uh, I was there last year. It's a great festival. Get out and have a look at all the other gigs and comedians and artists that are out on site. Um, yeah, that's what I'm talking more. about. Yeah, Adelaide, you said? Yes. Right on. Perfect. Get out there and, and experience that. I will for sure, man. I'm looking forward to it as much as possible. Thanks, Jeff. Thanks so much for chatting with us. Can't yeah, wait to no have problem. you here. And I hope you enjoy your stay down under. Absolutely, man. Thanks, Paul. Appreciate Take you, Take care man. of yourself. You Take too. Care. Bye.